In Business Analyst 9.3.1, we've added in a great new way to search for businesses and further analyze them in your map. So right here from the toolbar, you can search by business, or category, or location. In this case, I'll just type pizza, or pizza in Portland, or uh, pizza in the Portland, Oregon area. Just however you're used to searching on the internet, you can now do this in Business Analyst. So here I'll search for pizza. It's going to look in my map area, go out, search the web, and bring back all the business points for pizza. So you've got Papa John's and Bellagio's and Sparky's Pizza, up to 250 or so entries immediately at your disposal. You've got addresses and categories and certain things that you can search by in this preview window before you take them permanently down to the map. You can select all. You could search for just Pizza Hut's. So it's got some intuitive filters built in here. But if I just want to search for all of them, click Next. And I'll type uh, pizza places in Portland. And I can add some comments. It's just like using any kind of business analyst tool where you get to that final wizard dialog, click Finish, and then something happens. So they go out from the web, down, loaded to your desktop, and you have them for use as points or standard feature classes in the business analyst. So I can open up my attribute table now from the table of contents and I can see the addresses in here, the name, I've got a lat long, I've got um, different categories here of the, each business. Um, if I scroll all the way down here, it's got a neighborhood in here, it's got the phone number, uh, if there's some kind of user ratings, a description, even a website. So if any of this is available through the Bing API, you just grab it from the internet and download it as an RTIS feature class. So now let's go look for some coffee shops in Redlands. Search. Aha, so the software is smart enough to know did you mean Redlands, California or Redlands, Colorado? Well, let's go for California. So it's going to go out, it's going to search for coffee shops in Redlands, just how it searched for pizza places in Portland. And I've got, again, up to 250, which is the one-time limit. And I could search for, let's say, Starbucks. So it's that smart filter again. I want all the Starbucks. Say, Starbucks around Redlands. And click Finish. Goes out to the web, bring them down into your map view. It's in your table of contents, and it's ready for further analysis. It's a great way to see your competitors around you and do a quick search, just like you're used to using on the web. So again, there's my attribute table. The Bing search. Now, how does this differ from our standard add business listing search? Well, it actually kind of adds some value to it. Because you, could, you can't do a lot of the things in Bing that you can do in our database search here of over 11 million businesses. So if I just wanted to find something by San Diego, so by location, and if I wanted to find by specific types of classifications, I can't do that with Bing, although Bing is super easy to use. You can just go and search just as you would on the Internet. But if I wanted to come in here and search by category or NAICS code or SIC code, again, you can't do that with Bing can with the Ad Business Listing. So it's still very much part of the product and updated every year. So here I'll search for coffee shops and restaurants. Maybe I'll turn around and, and add pizza places and just as I was looking for Bing so it can kind of show some comparisons here. And then you can obviously also you can search by size of businesses, um, if it's a headquarters or not. If it's new at 931, you can save this business listing query as a file. So it's an XML-based file that if you're going through and you're constantly saving the same amount of NAICS classifications and there's 40 of them, well, now I'll just save it out to a file, a BLQ file, and add it in whenever you're going to do a new search. It saves a lot of time. So it's going to save that location, those businesses, all that. So here you go. and You've got your businesses added from a file. So you've got add business listings improvements and new Bing search, business analyst 9.3.1.